what 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 was that literally i i was in i was just chilling today right and i've been getting like a ton of messages just just a ton of messages about saying jerry retribution 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 and my my reply was i didn't know steven seagal had another movie coming out i mean he's already got a hundred i didn't realize he had another movie people are like no 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 jerry 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 no it's not steven seagal i well i was immediately disappointed and then they said it's to do with WWE Raw. And then I got even more disappointed. And they're like, you gotta watch this, Jerry. You gotta watch it. I'm like, no, I don't want to watch it. And they're like, you have to. I'm like, why? And they're like, because you haven't uploaded, Jerry. You're lazy. People are apparently accusing me of being lazy. Even though there's nothing going on in wrestling. Like, you're being lazy, Jerry. Give us something. Give, a, give, give us a little lick of your teat. And I, I said, okay, all right, all right, all right. I will watch this video. Okay, I will watch this video on the retribution. This was so bad, I've literally wrote a page of how bad it was. This is terrible. I thought, I thought like you guys were over exaggerating about this. This was awful. This was, this was terrible. And I, I haven't bashed WWE because, you know, the Dave Meltzer's of the world. But yeah, WWE's going to get it today because this was absolutely awful. Um, we're gonna break down why it was awful. This isn't just the Retributions part. MVP wasn't great either. Um, anyway. So, these people threw petrol bombs. They threw, they, they beat up people. They have sabotaged the, the building. They beat people up. <clears throat> they were destroying property. And they gave them contracts. Why? Now, a lot of people might say, oh, well, Jerry, like, it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. Because in a storyline, in a story sense, in a realistic sense, if I was working for a company, and I threw petrol bombs, and I did all this crazy shit, what do you think would happen? I'd be arrested. Okay? Now, I know there's limitations to wrestling. You can't have it 100% realistic. But you're going very, very far when you have these people... Getting hired by WWE and getting a contract. You could have at least showed that they invaded the place and make it look cool. I don't know why they feel the need to tell everyone, We have contracts, but you're still losers. But that takes away from the badass part of it. It'd be more badass if you went into the company, you were beating people up without getting paid. That would be that would be amazing if you were actually in WWE not on contract. You were like a rogue Group, it, it it sounds cooler. That's why a lot of people like the Shield back in the day. Because a lot of people thought they were, but then they're under contract and blah, blah, blah. But that's what I'm saying. It would be a lot cooler with the mystical... Like, I don't know why they had to announce that they were under contract. Like, you don't, you don't need to do that. There was no need... People weren't even thinking about that. People would have thought, all right, they're in, they're in WWE. They've just brought them in. You don't actually have to say that you're on contract. So it was just terrible writing. And this goes back to why I don't like WWE. Their absolute writing is complete and utter trash. Secondly, the promo was trash. I don't know who, um, I'm going to call him Corey from Slipknot. Him doing his promo. <laughs> just look, he sounded so awful. It sounded so... I'ma say it. I'ma say it. It sounded fake. It was faker than Pamela Anderson's tatties, okay? It sounded fake. <laughs> it sounded awful, okay? The masks. I'm gonna get demonetized for saying it. But I'm, but I'm gonna just say it. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get demonetized. They look like gimp masks. <laughs> like, it's just caught like it is. They look like, they look like straight up gimp masks. They look like they've just been out of a swingers party. Let, let's be honest. Okay? And the masks don't look badass. They look worse. I don't know how you can make a mask look less badass. Because a mask... No matter what it looks like, even if you're wearing a Donald Trump mask or you're wearing a Joe Biden mask or whatever, like usually whenever, like, the, you know, the presidents 
when they have that, that movie where they where they, they wore all the president masks and all. It looks like kind of cool, but these just look like especially. There was a guy who looked like he had a hockey mask, but he looked like he got a hockey mask in a, in, in a charity shop. It just d looks ridiculous. It doesn't look cool. Um, they look like a B plus version of Slipknot. And Slipknot are badass. Slipknot are complete and utter badasses. But these people just don't look badasses. They look like buskers in the street. They performing for money and change. They don't look great. They look awful. This is awful. You're terrible. Who came up with this? Be ashamed of yourselves. This is absolutely awful. They look like Mad Max on crack. They literally straight up look like Mad Max on crack. It is just awful. They, they look just terrible. It's just the, the look is awful. The girl's mask kept falling off during a promo. Every time she kept talking, she kept doing that. Okay? Did you, like, Kane have, might have had some mask malfunctions, but he never had it in his debut. Like, they made sure the mask was, like, perfection on its debut. I'm not saying that a mask has to be flawless and everything, but this girl's mask was falling. It was like doing this all the time. All the time, it looked awful. It looked really cheap. It looked like she got it from Toys R Us, and they're bankrupt. MVP's promo was trash. MVP, for some weird reason, said, Yo, yo, why'd you not come in here? Yo, yo, why you not come here with baseball bats and chain and chainsaws? Wait, what? Chainsaws? Wait, MVP, what? 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 Chainsaws? What? What? What are you talking about, sir? What are you talking about? Uh, by the way, MVP, I, 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 I oh god, the, oh god, he can't do a promo to save his life. I'ma say it. I'ma say it. He can't do a promo to save his life. He sounded confused. He sounded like he was in a nursery home. This is awful. Why? Why are you making me watch this crap? I already watched three minutes of it, and it's put me in a bad mood. This is awful. There is nothing good about this. Why? Why are you people still watching Raw? I know that's rich coming from me, but I don't even watch Raw, and I would, and I talk about this. You don't need to. You don't need to put yourselves through this. You don't need to put yourselves through this. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? I'm serious. What is generally wrong with this wrestling community? How can you, uh, like, your mom, like, oh, I'm gonna just say it. JD from New York, I don't know how the hell he does it. I don't know how he can review three hours of... Honestly, I'm not bashing the guy, but I'm just saying, I don't know how guys like Joe Cronin and JD and all these guys like just review this. I could not do this. I just could not. Even the Smart Busters even said literally on their last few videos, we are not doing raw reviews. No one's doing raw reviews. Like, if you honestly love your sanity... Do not do raw reviews. It barely gets any viewership. Like, I will actually get more viewership saying I hate this or whatever the hell it is than WWE raw review. Like, b back in the ETA days, back when uh, when the real people were doing videos, yeah, raw reviews got some good, good hits, but this is just, like... Oh, Lord, the names. Oh, oh my Lord, the names. The names. The... They've actually named these people. They've oh lord! They've named them after cereal bars. They've they've actually they've named them after cereal bars. There's T bar, T bar. There's Mace and Slapjack. Slapjack. What did you do? Vince, Finny, Finny, baby, come on here. Did you literally just go to an actual name generator and go, God damn it, just fucking hit generate there. Let's see what happens. Fla Slapjack, that works. Maze, that works. T-Bar, that works. There we go. Bag him, tag him, give him a shitty mask. I guess what this up. <laughs> this is awful. This is the, like, look, yo, I am, I'm literally the first one to say, 
Give shit a chance. But see, to be honest, wrestling's trash. I don't know why some of you people watch this. Like, I see literally all of you on Facebook just constantly talking about it. I'll talk about it once in a while, but I'll just, like, talk about, like, you know, weightlifting or training or, you know, the PlayStation 5 is coming out or anything. Just anything. But I, I honestly don't know how some of you people constantly talk about wrestling. I really don't. Like, I was like, Jerry, you're lazy. You're not doing... Like, who cares? What, what? AEW, let's be honest, is just a C-plus goddamn company. WWE Raw is completely diarrhea. It's hitting TNA levels. Like, it's hitting Eric Bischoff TNA levels of goddamn viewership. Nobody likes wrestling. The kids don't like it. They're too busy on their on their fortnights and their TikToks before Trump took it away. Um, and they're, just, they're, do, they're doing other things in wrestling. That's the thing. This generation doesn't care about wrestling. They don't. That's WWE's fault. They haven't. They haven't got the kids used to it. Because in my age, yes, I'm used to the wrestling. But teenagers aren't like teenagers aren't going around saying, "Yo, man, you hear about that Seth Rollins promo, man? Yo, that Seth." That's, that's what's the problem. Anyway, it's General Jerry on the General Jerry channel signing out. F you all for making me, for making me watch this drivel. My lord. Awful. Oh, by the way, I got a Sandman t-shirt. Look, it even's got it in the back of it. Look at that. There, my. In the Sandman Gums. Like, don't want them, don't want... You know, an actual decent wrestler. By the way, Sandman for Hall of Fame. See all these, oh, I want this guy from NWA to be in the Hall of Fame. Nah, screw them all. Sandman for Hall of Fame. Alright? If there's one thing I want, Sandman to be in the Hall of Fame. I think Sandman should be in the WWE Hall of Fame. Put him in, boys. Now, that's something I can get behind.